proximity everything is. There's no wasted time for these athletes, and they're able to perform at a high level. Parker escapes trouble, completes to Garrett Johnson. Johnson with a path to the end zone, and he's in. Well, he didn't know when it was going to happen, but Drew Barker has been handed the keys to this program. Started the last two games of the season a year ago, and he's not known for buying time with his feet at 6'3 and 225 pounds, but the way that he extended this play is what allowed um, Garrett Johnson to be able to get open for him to find him, put the ball on target, and then the wide receiver did the rest of the work. The extra points by Austin McGinnis is good. Kentucky has landed a couple of haymakers. First, it was Jeff Bidette going 72 yards. Now Barker to Johnson, a 43-yard score. It's a great job there of avoiding pressure from Jabari Poole. Kentucky finding its rhythm offensively. And in our conversation yesterday with Eddie Grant, this guy is very decisive with his decisions. And, and that was one thing that Bob Stoops commented on. He said, you know, what I love about him is he's so detail-oriented. And because he's a veteran, it makes him very easy for him to have answers. And, and, and Mark Stoops admitted, he said, as a defensive coach, I know when there's a problem, but I don't always know how to fix it. And he believes that Eddie Grant is the answer for this offense. And on these last two drives, it's easy to see the creativity, the ability to get the ball in the playmaker's hands is the reason why Kentucky has now taken the lead. You see Eddie Grand there with the visor, came over from Cincinnati, as did his co-offensive coordinator, Darren Hinshaw. And we'll talk more later on about the impact Hinshaw has had on the Indeed. quarterback, Barker.